How are we doing, folks? It's Phil here, the main character, the lead protagonist. Still trying to build out that character. <laughs> uh, welcome to vlog number three. Uh, thanks very much for coming back. Hope you've enjoyed all the ones so far. I will just say this right from the off. I don't feature very much in this one. Some of you may be celebrating. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but no, in one of the training sessions, I picked up a bit of a knock in my shoulder. Uh, it was incredibly annoying and, to be honest with you, very, very deflating as well. Knowing that there were a couple of sessions where I just couldn't get involved where I wanted to was just so annoying, honestly. But to be honest with you, whilst I was, you know, whilst I was knocked and having to deal with that, I'd much rather, you know, just take it slow, make sure I recover properly so that I can then, you know, well, basically so I could then get back to training at a level that I want to train at, you know? I'd much rather do that and just listen to my body and put my health first than, you know, do something stupid and potentially ruin myself. So, yeah. So instead, what this one is going to be is this is going to be more of a, a trainee montage. I'm going to feature some of the other trainees that I've been working with because, quite frankly, they're brilliant. They're amazing and they are a great bunch of, you know, men and women. I'm really happy to be training with them and I'm always happy to offer, you know, a word of encouragement or just some praise or you know just just a g up <laughs> whenever it's needed and i know they do the same for me as well so i guess in a sense this vlog is going to be a little bit of a i suppose a gift to them just to say um you know just basically just to say thank you for being such great people uh, thanks for accepting me being so cool with me as well um and yeah anything i can do to just put you over and make you all look good i want to do so that's what we're going to do here so you guys are awesome and for everybody else watching then enjoy everybody else <laughs> having a good time and just achieving things and just being spectacular all right let's go yeah i know it's a pretty sorry sight seeing me with my shirt off and with an ice pack on my shoulder but it's got to be done you know i've got to nurse myself back to health Turns out that what I picked up was an AC joint sprain in my shoulder. Uh, physio and I believe it's grade one because I can still use my shoulder for a lot of things. And you know, it's been a couple of weeks since I picked it up and I've still been able to train kind of okay with it, but I'm still a little bit nervous to do certain things on my right hand side. Um, but so long as I'm not being stupid about it, I can still do a number of things here. So that's not too bad. Uh, so yeah, in this video actually, a uh, fun fact, I sent this in the uh, group chat that I've got with my other trainees. Um, we use that to just keep each other accountable, keep each other encouraged, and just banter a little bit as well. So we were trying some, trying a bit of promo practice here, uh, with varying degrees of success. Uh, <laughs> but it was all good, and uh, you know, we're all, uh, we're all getting along and it's all fun. Uh, so in a moment you will see me off to training here, and um, I got a lift in with one of the other guys here, Aiden. Um, now here's the thing, <laughs> yeah I know I'm terrified in that, <laughs> he's, um, he, he's got a really sporty car and uh, the sound it makes as well. Uh, now I use Revit Up as my G-Up, okay, but Aiden here, he lives it, okay, he's a car nut, he regularly goes to shows and he's pretty proud of this car that he's got right now. Um, it's just low so I can't get in and out very easily, you got to sort it out mate, jeez. Anyway, let's get into training. And like with any training session, we're starting off with some rolling drills. Uh, so Cody and Divan are just finishing their left hand rolls. Yes, thank you, Josh. Um, so yeah, I was on camera duty for this one, uh, doing my best to make everybody else look good and using this time to rest my shoulder and just take some mental notes and just study a little bit. Um, I did let James know, the head trainer, and I did let Luke know as well that I was going to have a chill one this time um, because I didn't want to do anything else that was going to mess my shoulder up even more. So, yeah, my job for this session was, yeah, make everybody else look as good as I possibly could. What's up, Taylor? Let's go. <laughs> uh, but I can't lie. I felt really, really deflated in not being able to get involved here. Because um, I feel like my roles are, I mean, they're still imperfect, but they're getting better. You know, I can almost get onto my feet with my backwards rolls. Uh, so that's definitely progress from when I first started this. So, what's up, Brody? <laughs> uh, so I am happy with that. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to be nervous to roll on my right arm because that's the shoulder that I messed up when I... Well, basically the way I injured myself was I botched a forward roll, I landed on my shoulder, uh, I took my arm in too far and it just... Yeah, it, it wasn't a good time, put it that way. But, uh, oh well, 
So we're going to come to the end of the drills here and we're going to move on to the next exercise. Let's wrap it up. In this session here, a lot of what we were, well I say we, a lot of what the other guys were practicing was different ways of getting in and out of the ring. Uh, so as Aiden's just uh, demonstrated here, what we're trying to learn here is a bit like a lucha uh, get in uh, from the floor uh, in through the first and the second ropes. Uh, so we see, <laughs> I look at him through the second rope. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. I'm sh I shouldn't laugh, I'm sorry. Don't hit me in the face next time, okay? <laughs> um, but yet the, uh, the idea is that uh, we've got a strong base on the left hand off the apron and we're going to rocket our legs in, uh, not like Taylor was doing that, but still, you know, first times. We're going to rocket our legs in through the first and the second rope and it's... Some of the other trainees described it as a bit like 619ing into the ring. Um, take from that what you will, um, but it's like... Yeah. You know, okay. Hey, as with anything, it's just practice. We're drilling everything like that. Uh, oh, Dylan's getting cocky. Look at him blowing kisses. Okay. You know what happens when people get cocky? Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. <laughs> God, geez, that, that smug face every single time. <laughs> of course, he's brilliant. You know why wouldn't he be? Um, but I know I say, you know, that's so annoying, but. I do joke, you know, we all we all joke about it because he is brilliant and we're so envious of him as well. Like, he, <laughs> look, these things will come, you know, we're getting more and more, you know, fitter and we're getting more and more athletic as we go. So it is just a matter of time until we get closer and closer to him. Um, but good on him. You know, we, we do love Dylan. He's a good lad um, and he's a good laugh as well. You know, it's, it's, he's, we're glad to have him. All right, let's go, d -Van. Oh, yes. Very good. His, his face at the time was just like, did I just do that? Well, <laughs> yeah, you did, and well done, lad. So, yeah. Now, I'm not going to lie, I was getting, like, serious, serious, like, FOMO, if you will. Uh, but it's not necessarily fear of losing, of missing out. It's, oh, okay, yeah, well done, Cody. Yep, very good. It wasn't a fear of missing out at all. It, just, it was just, I definitely felt like I was missing out. Um, spoiler alert, a couple of weeks after this, I was able to do this exercise, and I'm all right at it. I'm not too bad. I'm able to chain things together with a couple of other get-ins and get-outs. Um, but as you can see right here, yeah, it, it, it's a sorry sight, isn't it? Seeing me with a gel pack on my shoulder and just, um, yeah, it's not good. But I'm really thankful for the company there, so thanks, Emma. Thanks very much for that. Next exercise we were doing here was sliding into the ring under the bottom rope and then escaping through the second rope, as you can see Aiden doing here. Yeah, not bad. Well done, lad. Someone described this to me as uh, the Matt Jackson from the Young Bucks. Uh, actually, how old are the Young Bucks now? They can't be. They can't be young anymore because they've been going for a long time now. I'm, I'm guessing. I, answers on postcard, please, um, or someone look on Wikipedia and then put it in the comments and just tell me because <laughs> I imagine they must be in like the, the mid to late thirties now, so they can't be that young. Um, anyway, I digress. I digress. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the idea here is that uh, if we're in a match scenario and we needed to make a quick escape then we would be able to just uh, launch ourselves out of the ropes onto the standard position on the apron. Yep, hi, Brody. And then we'd be able to do, well, whatever. There. So if someone was trying to run at us in a corner, we'd be able to then just you know, give them a forearm, or if we were feeling particularly athletic, uh, swing, a le swing a leg up and uh, kick him in the head, um, which would look uh, incredibly you know, athletic and also incredibly violent as well. But you know, we love a bit of that, don't we? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Uh, spoiler alert, I was able to do this exercise a couple of weeks later after my shoulder had healed up a little bit. And, oh dear, here we go. Of course he's going to be brilliant. Look at this. Look at this. Not, not even not even stopping to take a breath and just like try and work out has he done that right. No, it's just like boom, there we go. <laughs> Good on him though, well done. But yeah, um, what was I saying? Uh, I was able to do this uh, quite, uh, reasonably well a couple of weeks later after my shoulder healed up a little bit and I've been able to chain it with another couple of ins and outs uh, like into the ring and out of the ring. Uh, I'll have to remember to ask somebody to record me doing that because I'm pretty happy with it and I'm happy to say that I'm looking pretty good with doing it as well. So yeah, hopefully that'll be in the next video so stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but to be fair, you know, all the all the folks here are doing are doing really well, uh, four first times as well. So definitely the more athletic of us like Dylan and you know like Seth as well. Seth's doing pretty good here. Uh Divan here, Divan should be pretty good here, so let's let's take a moment and watch this. 
So yeah, it, it is a case of again, strong base on the left hand and then launch legs up that way, uh, like through the ropes. And then, yeah, standard position on the apron and it's all good. So yes, go on. That's, yeah, all right, nice one. Post session, a few of us were staying behind again. Uh, so thanks again to James for keeping the place open and Luke and Eddie for staying behind with us and letting us practice a few things. So yeah, thanks very much. Aiden here, uh, we see practicing some front flip bumps. Uh, you've got the boys in the training ring, just practicing a few things as well. Uh, front flip bumps is something that I want to get down as well. I did give it a go, but my shoulder was just like, nah, this ain't happening. But I've since learned that if we can get these down well, then it helps when it comes to taking suplexes. Because if we can flip well, then it makes life easy for the person who's actually throwing us. So, all good. So Taylor's about to give it a go now. Uh, Luke just demonstrating good form to aim for when it comes to that. Uh, so here she goes. The only problem is... Oh my... Something broke. Taylor, you broke something. <laughs> Destructive child. <laughs> Two weeks later. Happy to say that after a couple of weeks, I was able to train at roughly the same intensity that I had been pre-knock. So I was happy about that. Yay! I was actually really, really happy about that because during that time where I'd been knocked and I was like just in pain and just in a lot of discomfort, it was so deflating, honestly. It was difficult. Like, I understand better now when people say, when you're injured, it is deflating and it's mentally taxing as well as it is physically taxing to try and get back up to that level and get your strength back as well. So I get it. I really do. It's because I wasn't able to do the thing that I enjoyed with the people that I enjoy it with. And it sucked. But I know that by taking it slow and by you know, just working my way back up. I was able to look after myself, I was able to look after my body and just try and slowly get back up there safely. That's the important thing, safely. And I do appreciate folks just keeping checking in with me, just seeing how I'm doing physically and mentally. So James, a couple of the pros, uh, all my trainees as well, just in the group chat, just saying, how's your shoulder feel? You doing okay? How's the pain levels? Really appreciate that. So thanks very much for you know keeping in touch and just checking in with me. You guys are awesome. Um, but yeah, again, it was deflating. But the good news is that you can always rely on an Australian to bring the fun. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but it was certainly a thing in this instance. Because, um, yeah, Taylor, God bless her, uh, noticed that I was suffering a little bit uh, mentally. So she had a great idea. And let's show a few videos of that, because this is going to be good. Yeah, she found a trampoline park in Birmingham, so she drafted me, she drafted a couple others, and we went and just had a really fun evening doing just lots of flippy stuff. Uh, guaranteed to bring out any young wrestlers and training wrestlers in a Jeff Hardy, as you can see here by me representing with the t-shirts. So we had a really good night. It was definitely what I needed, uh, just to try and get my, uh, my brain back, just try and get my flow back as well. So, yeah, enjoy the montage uh, for the end of this video, and uh, thanks for watching, hope you've been entertained, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vlog where I shall feature a lot more!